All right, we have our Z-stretch standard. Our front foot is sitting on top of the back thigh. The back leg is drawn back. Heel against your butt. Now we're gonna take that same right leg and that right hand. You're gonna reach down your butt line. You're gonna reach on the inside and grab on your shoelaces up underneath. This way it's gonna give us a good transition into our neck stretches that we're going to establish later. So from this position, stay up tall and vertical. We're gonna to twist to your left. Rotate, keep twisting, look over your left shoulder, keep twisting, keep twisting, keep twisting, and slowly drop down to that elbow. Slowly working that elbow down, trying to lay back on it slightly. Now from this position, you hold on really tight with that Kung Fu grip. There should be a stretch in your quad and your hip flexor. If not, slowly start to roll over top. So think about holding that foot and think about rolling and spinning your right hip bone over top. Try to get a stretch in that illicus. Roll that hip over top, spin that hip bone, spin it, spin it, spin it. And for those of you guys who get really tight necks, especially if you're a unilateral breather and swimming, we want to try to push that chin away. You want to try to push that chin up and away. You want to try to rotate away, either stretching the scalenes or your sternocleidomastoid. Any one of those will be a benefit in terms of relaxing the neck and pulling pressure and tension off of that. Now, once you're done, it should be about a four to six second stretch and then release it, four to six second stretch, release it, do four rounds of that and then release completely. All right, you guys can do this partnered up. It's the same exact principle. Whether you have a Canadian holding your foot down or whether you brace it against a very sturdy object that's gonna hold your foot down, thus allowing you to stay and maintain to that 90 degree hip flexion, 90 degree knee flexion. Now all we wanna do is just from that flat back position, we've got that knee pointed up to the sky. It should be a fairly comfortable position for you to go ahead and establish. Then once established, we wanna slowly rotate that hip over top as we try to spin, 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 and spin four to six seconds and then completely open that sucker back up, reestablish a non-stretch position, and we want to try to do it again. Spin, 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 and gentle release. And we want to do four to six rounds of that. We have the exact same Z stretch, working on your guns while you do it. We're gonna go ahead and lock the bottom knee in, bottom hip in, 90 degrees. You could either use one of these really cool stretch cords or you can use a towel or anything that's gonna hold you in there. Uh, most of our athletes will use their sweaty shirts, they'll just lock their foot up underneath and hold that sucker in. Now while you do that, we've got a maintenance of that back heel to your butt with that left arm. As you hold on to that sucker, we wanna slowly roll that left hip over top Think about internally rotating and think about twisting that torso over top, thus getting a good stretch out of that quad and that hip flexor line. Big twist, big twist for about four to six seconds and then release it. And then we want to do four full rounds of that. 